Hey there, and welcome back to another video on coding with Soham Jane. Today, we're going to code the game Wordle, in which users have six attempts to guess a five letter word. I've created two text files, which you can find in the GitHub link located in the description of this video. The first file is the possible answers or words that we have to try to guess. And the second file is a list of English words that we are allowed to guess. And I've pulled both of these from the official Wordle list for guesses and answers. We can go ahead and get started in our main Python class by importing random, which is the only import that we're going to need to make to select our word. Next, we can create a couple methods. The first one is to load our dictionary. And all we need in this is just the file path. For now, in these methods, I'll just have an empty print statement and copy that. Our next method is isValidGuess. And we'll just have guess and guesses as the parameters where guess is what our word guess is. And guesses is a list of the guesses. Our next method is evaluate guess. And in this, we're just gonna have two parameters. And this is kind of just the feedback that our console gives if the word is valid. Our last method is wordle with guesses and answers. And the two parameters are just a list of the guesses and answers. And this is going to be our main method in this code. And I can get started by creating those two parameters for Wordle by doing guesses equals load dictionary. And then I'll use guesses.txt for this. And I can copy the same thing for answers and just change it up a little bit. And over here, we're just going to call our method with the two parameters that we just created. And if we run this for now, it's just empty because all of these methods don't print anything. So we can go ahead and get started by writing the load dictionary method. Let's get started by writing with open file path, which is just our parameter as F. We can create this variable words where it's words is equal to line dot strip and with this line dot strip method it'll get each line of our file for line in f and now all we have to do is return words so with these three simple lines we're loading in our dictionaries and it's doing this for both the guesses and the words and it's going into our main method the next method that we have to create is valid guess is much easier. And in fact, all we have to do is return guess in guesses because this way it's doing two things. First, it's checking that our word is five letters long. And it's also at the same time checking if it's in this guesses.txt file. Evaluate guess is going to be a little bit more complicated though, because this is where we're going to return a string that has yellow or green text depending on whether the letters are in the correct location, they're in the word at another location, or they aren't in the word at all. So let's remove this print statement and start by creating an empty string that we can call str. We're going to create a for loop that goes through each letter in the word. And the first if statement is going to be is if guess i equals word i. So we're checking here if it's in the correct location. And we want that part of the string to be green. So what we can do is over here, add a backslash 033, then this bracket 32m plus our guess letter. This way, it'll make the guess green. And what we can do is if it's, we'll do an else actually. And if it, the letter is in the word at another location. So we're just checking here if it's in the word, but we've already established that it's not in the correct location. Then what we can do is str plus equals, and we want to make the letter yellow here. So 033, and then instead of 32m, we're going to do 33m, and then add that letter. And our last else statement is going to be if that letter isn't in the word at all. And instead, what we want to do here is, um, actually, I'll just go ahead and copy this. And we want to make it a default color. So instead of 33M, we'll just do 0M. And at the end, all we have to do is return our string. 
So string plus, and then we want the rest of the text to be default color. So we'll do slash zero, 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 three, three, and then zero M. So this way our evaluate guest method is done. Let's get started in this main Wordle class. And in this print statement, we can just write some text when the user starts the game. So I guess I can say, welcome to Wordle and get six chances to guess a five letter word. And now we just wanna set our secret word to something. So if we create a secret word variable and use this random.choice method, what it allows us to do for answers is select a random word from this list that we created before of possible answers. And we can start by creating an attempts variable. So this is just the current attempt that we're on. And we want a maximum number of attempts as well, which we said before will be six. So we'll create a while loop here, which is while attempts is less than or equal to our maximum number of attempts. We want to get input from the user. So what we can do is create this guess variable and get input from the user that says enter guess number. And here, this is where we can use our variable attempts and also have a colon here probably. And we can also do dot lower because if the user for some reason enters a word that has uppercase letters, it'll automatically make them lowercase. So now we can check if our guess is not valid. And here we wanna use our method is valid guess. And our parameters we can check from before is guess and guesses, which have the same name over here. So if it's not valid, then we wanna print that it's not valid. So let's just write invalid guess and please enter an English, English word with five letters. And if it's not valid, then we can continue this for loop. And our number of attempts is still the same since we haven't incremented it yet. Um, so outside of this if statement, we also want to check if our guess is equal to the secret word. So now that we know it is valid, if it's equal to the secret word, we can print congratulations. You guessed the word. And if we want, I guess we can also have our word over here. So we can write secret word. So that way the user knows that they correctly guess the secret word. And we also want a break statement since if they finish, we don't want to continue in this while loop. So now what should we do if the user enters a word and it's not the secret word, but it is still valid. So first we can increase the number of attempts because now they're going on to the next attempt. But we also want to have our feedback for the user. So I guess we can just create a variable feedback and use our evaluate guess method that we created from before. And its parameters are guess and then the word. So for us, it would just be guess and secret word. And now we have this feedback that we want to give to the user. So if we just do print feedback, now I think we should be good, but another thing that we actually have to do is check if the number of attempts is greater. So if we've run out of attempts, which is if attempts is greater than max, and here we can do print game over, and the secret word was, we wanna have our secret word over here. So this way, it accounts for all the possible scenarios. Over here, we're checking if the guess isn't valid, if we guess the word, and if it was valid, but not the word. And lastly, if we've run out of attempts, we wanna say game over. So this is pretty much everything that we need for our Wordle game. And I can go ahead and run this code just to show you how it works. So what it's gonna say is, welcome to Wordle, get six chances to enter, to guess a five letter word. So let's get started with a do. And I can just add a couple of uppercase just to show you that it still works. And it's showing us that D and U are in the word. My next guess would be torch. 
And with the word torch, they're all white. So we know that none of those letters are in our word. I'm trying to think of another word, but I guess I can go ahead with slimy. And here we know that the letter Y is in the correct location. So we've seen all of our colors being used. And I can just try a couple of other words. So maybe if I want to do photo, then I can see that none of those are in it. And I'll just enter some random words again, just to show you how the game looks like at the end. So it says game over, the secret word was buddy. Here's another iteration of the game if we correctly guess the word. So I'll again start with ado and torch. And we have four of our letters already. I'll do the same starting. So I got slimy. And we have all five of our letters now. And I'm just going to guess shade. And it says, congratulations, you guessed the word shade. So every time we run this class, it'll generate a new word for you to try to guess and works just like the online version of Wordle. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.